but like I say, with painting and washes and natural ma 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 uh, market parts, you make the thing sparkle. Okay, we'll get to the conclusion of the build here. Once all these parts have been done, then it's time to come over here and put the wings on and push it forward. You're locked in, it comes out like this. Alrighty, in the back, they give you two options on this thing. This is your parts list. You can't go on. There's exactly one, two, three, four, five. There's six sprues. There's six sprues. Nope, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten sprues. And uh, that's about it. As you can see on the parts list, it's not that many, not that much. Here's your decals here. They give you uh, two options. They give you all aluminum finish, like the one on the box. They give you basically born England right here. This B17 here. Early in the spring of 1944, United Kingdom. And they give you uh, four shots of a low D. And all down below here is your paint call outs, what you use. And again, they give you three selections of paints to use. And over here is your natural finish. You want to do a little aluminum tape like I did on my, on my monogram one? Or use AK Alcads, or if you want to use. All natural aluminum bird with auto drab anti glare panels. Again, I gave you four views of your paint job back here, like I showed you earlier during the instruction of the view. Here's all your paint call outs and the manufacturers where they go with. Okay, we got that goodie out of the way. Now I want to get to the good part, fellas. Here's a fuselage right here. I take up this thing for about an hour and a half to clean it up. And uh, it goes together very well. I don't think it needs any filler. It's got a lot of detail in this thing, fellas. A lot of detail. It was saying each one, each fuselage was individually wrapped and it had these L-shaped sprues that stuck out. I guess when the when the molding process came in, when they injected all that plastic into it, each one, that's why everything fell out so beautifully. But they leave these ungodly tits on here. You gotta take a knife and clean them off. You're constantly either sand, you're sanding them and you're trimming off there. Make sure you got a good tight fit. And uh, that's what I did. Make sure everything is good and clean. Because I study. But like I say, that's the only thing, bad thing about this kit, guys, is, is that is it, it's those annoying new pen, those, those uh, sprues things that stick out. I don't know what you call them, but I imagine that's where they, that's where the plastic flows into uh, to the mold evenly. And uh, there's a Very fine detail. I mean, the, rib, the, uh, the rivets here are very fine, just like the, on the 132nd scale kit. See this thing here, just like the just like the 132nd scale one. It's got the same. It has the same uh, wing lock and neck system they have here. Very strong, very strong. Okay. Over here, on this sprue here. Let's go a little closer here, fellas. This is what I was talking about right here. Here's all your oxygen bottles. On the 132nd scale kit, there's three pieces of that. You got two halves and you got an L-shaped bracket that holds those oxygen bottles in there. And uh, it really is not that bad. Everything is so, it's already been assembled for you already. So have all these little parts you got glue in like that, they take that away from you and make it simple. That's why I say a Donald's can tackle this kit with no problem under supervision. And uh, you got your uh, 
imagine this is a catwalk that goes down the center of the fuselage right here. That's the top of your bob bay right here. This goes where your bob bay's at, where your boat bed's at. Right here is your pilot's compartment. And your pilot compartment is sandwiched in between these two side walls where the oxygen bottles are running. And it's like you got radio operators. No, uh, that's part of the Bob Bay right there. Then you got over here, you have uh, radio boxes right here. All your radio boxes. And you got your catwalk. This goes to your tail compartment. Here's your bicycle seat. It's right there. I didn't show it in the instructions. This is there. That's already it for you. So that saved you from gluing pieces in there. Like I say, fellas, this thing is more or less just like, as you can see, it's prefabricated already. Just glue it and painting it, and that's it. Now here's the curl deck right here. That same thing on the 132nd scale on the bell. You gotta move these shipping tags on here. Keep this thing from, uh, from getting busted. Okay, over here, next screw. These two screws contain the interiors details, I can see that. Over here we have your bomb racks, your bomb bay, two of them. This is the back of your pilot seats right here. Here's your bomb bay. Now they got ejector pin marks on the button side of the bomb bay. That's why I noticed on uh, four models when he done his uh, review on that. They're all over the place guys. They're in there uh, in the fuselage. Let's see here. I don't see any pilots for, especially in this view here. Yeah, they got them back too. They got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine Ejector pen box all through here, but I don't think they're gonna be seen once you paint them I'm not gonna go for the time of filling those holes in and sanding like that. I'm all of this expense like that Why put filler on there and stuff just just Leave it natural. This ain't going no judges table So beware of that too fellas, I don't think the judges will really overlook They'll overlook that, but they expect that because they probably fight the same problems we are. After all, they're model builders. Okay, we've got another sprue coming up. These are the wings. Wrapped up in a bag. They're already together already. Just got to separate them and uh, put your landing gear wells in there. And uh, I compared this against the monogram one, and this thing is miles better than the monogram one. Of course, you got about 50 years of research, uh, 50 years of technology to make this opposed to the monogram, but the monogram was still is a beautiful airplane, and it still and it still turns heads. So I got two uh, baggage here with wings. So they're open. Together, as you can see. Again, you have to worry about about putting no filler in this. That is, man, that wing just goes together like it's tight. You can't even see what's glued together. There's your flap well right here. You got check your marks on your flap wells. You got, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, ejector pin marks on the flap well right here. Once you paint that, ain't going to be seen. It'll disappear like how Hugh Dini operates. Now you see them, now you Top portion of the wing. Same thing as the uh, 132nd scale one. Man, 
Beautiful. I recommend getting this kit, guys. You won't be disappointed. Okay, over here is these are all the clear parts. You got two screws here. I like the way they package these things. They take great care as if it went through quality control. And the model is expense. I imagine they do have quality control. And most Oriental people take pride in what they do anyway. The canopy right here is, is different than that of the, of the 132nd scale one. It's almost like that. Of the, it's like the same thing as that of the monogram and the Ravel 148 scale B17s. Take your cockpit and just plug it in. I imagine it has a nice good fit, a nice fit too. Because with all these clear parts, you have to worry about masking them off. I think I ate crow just now. You're going to have to mask off your uh, the turrets. Maybe. I think so. So you're going to have to get a masking set, boys. I thought maybe you get away with it. So it's you need a masking set for these turrets right here. I was thinking they're just a frame and glue little pieces to them like you do in the 132nd scale, but nope. You gotta mask them off yourself or buy yourself a masking kit. Over here you got your uh, tail gunners compartment back here. Looks like your cheek guns here. Here's your waist gun windows. Windows. You got your Astrodome, ball turret. Yep. So you got two screws of your clear parts. There's two screws. In this enclosed bag, this contains the bombs, superchargers, parts of your, your guns, your undercarriage, your tracking link, all the old struts, tail wheel, your engines, your engines, oh boy. Leave a lot to desire, fellas. But I'm quite certain if you've uh, Put a wash on these things, do them like they look nice. They'll be okay, you'd be just fine. But you want you may want to consider getting yourself some new engines on here. They probably got them already. Here's your firewall. Same thing in the monogram one. You get your firewall for your engines where your engine fits that in front of them. Also you got your cali flaps. The cali flaps are real well fine, they're opened up. They're nice. Make your bob in your seat. Control yokes for your pilot department. You get your 500 pound SAPs. Put this other screw over. You get your landing flaps. You got your, your tires. They're flattened too, guys. They're just about the same as that as the monogram one. You can see the tread. Tread's a little, a little more finer. You got your oil tanks right here, which goes in your uh, you're letting your well. You have more engines. You got part of your superchargers right here. I imagine these go part of your engine somewhere. You got wiring inside your, uh, your engines, everything. Wow. Here's your landing gear.
Over here, you got your tail gunner's compartment. You have to just fit so you can put tail, paper, uh, tail gunner's compartment after your fuselage. Two pieces here. And like I said, they got these. That's what I'm talking about right here. Because once you snip those off, you get these big old tits that hang out where the joining edges where they glue together. You got to cut them off and sand them. That's how I did in that fuselage. A lot of work. So we prepared for that venture when you guys get into it. Okay, here's your, your nose assembly parts right here. They got all these sprues all over the place on here. You gotta clean them out real well. You got left and right halves. That's where your bed next to your cheek turret goes at right here. All this is your top turret assembly here. Okay. I got another spur to show you. We'll get to the decals and we'll finish up the video, fellas. This is the last of the sprues right here. This is your bombardier's compartment. This is your bulkhead where your instrument panel is out in the compartment. We separate the pilot's compartment and also the radio. I mean the, uh, the navigator and the uh, bombardier compartment right here. And here's your bombardier's compartment. Here's your Bendix cheek turret. Answer the panel. has three small holes in there. I imagine the decal fits in there. Probably so. Two spurs in this bag here. Second spur contains your cowings and your propellers. Your pillows look pretty good. And we got some three decals. It's the last. You got some photo edge right here. You got your seat belts for your seats. Inside your intercooler is right there. You got these little grills on there that fits. So be sure to put those on there. Use some ACC glue. Like I say, the decals will give you two options. You got basing born, England. They got the other ones probably glatt in England or somewhere. I don't know. Uh, suffix. I don't know where it's at. It tells you the instructions. I didn't really get into it. Oh, here's the decals right here. Here's your decal for your control panel. You got all your logos here for your props right here too. These are cardiograph uh, de uh, uh, decals. So you got an option. You got Queenie. Not Queenie. It's uh. Quick Wang or something like that, I can't pronounce it. American Beauty. That'll be it. That completes the uh, inbox view of this bad girl. Keep it busy. I tell you guys, with the expense of these models nowadays, people will start going back to building paper kits. And, uh, you get a little bit carried away with the prices on these things nowadays.